YouTube. It's Devastation here. Welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. So we're gonna fight Proton. If you remember, they've been cutting off bloody uh, Slowpoke tails, but they're playing it, fools. Uh, like I'm recording this on a Sunday afternoon, so Sundays are always boring. So we have to give him something to do. I'm so hungry as well, so I recording this video, going to eat, and then recording another video for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's lead off with um, Sora. Actually, yeah, let's get Sora out there. Since I believe Sora hasn't had enough time recently, and I, I really want Sora to have more, like, yeah, you, you know, more screen time, I guess. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. But it's been such a, like, a long day today. It's, like, only midday, and I've been up, like, four hours recording videos, and it's, <laughs> it's not good. So, Proton's going to lead off with a level 8 Zubat, as you can imagine. They're pretty basic, you know. It's, it's not really that, that, like, big, I guess. It's just... It's a Zubat for Christ's sake, we use a high priority move, quick attack. I've actually been watching a lot of competitive battles from like the crew, I don't know if you know the crew is like, you know, Kira, Speedies, Shadow Beats, Saturn Freeze and Jehovah and all that. And they've actually done some videos on competitive, uh, competitive, um, I would say Call of Duty then, competitive Pokemon. Coffee level 10, I'm guessing level 12, wow. Thank God we've got like a fire type. It doesn't matter where we go, there's always going to be someone who, did, who doesn't agree with us. It's true, it's true. That's actually a really good point. Whatever you do in life, there's always been that one person trying to sway you off with your aims. And I've encountered many people like this. Like, when, when I say what I want to do in life, I don't know. I really want to, um, for people who don't know, I really want to help charities out. I really want to be like a charity manager or a health a health service manager or a fitness manager. Just because I want to help people in, in like mysterious ways, you know. And a lot of people think that's weird. But of course, we beat the executive proton. For every kid to be this good, I didn't see it coming. You got level 12s, man. You got level 12s. I'm not that good. Hmm, <laughs> Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle won't, like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of, of what is to come. Ooh, I'm, I'm, tri I'm scared, ooh. And here comes Curtie boy. Curtis, Kurt. Way to go, Dan. Team Rocket's taken off. My back's better too. Let's get out of here. What are the chances in that? As soon as he... As soon as we beat them, he gets all healed. Hi, Dan. You handled yourself like a real hero. As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a boy called Red three years ago. I'm sure that was us. I'm sure that was us in Pokemon Fire Red. Now that they have come back, I, I have a bad feeling about it. In, in, that, in any case, I would please, uh, I, it, would be, it would please me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you down. This is all I have now, but take it. And we've got a fastball. So all the apricots we have been collecting throughout our, our adventure, uh, he's going to be able to turn them into Pokeballs, i.e. this, and we're going to start off by uh, using a black, there's actually um, seven different types of apricots you can have, we're going to start off by making a black one just for a heavy ball. It'll take a day, may maybe, to make you a Pokeball, come back for it later. That's right, I'll give you my grandpa's number, okay. And we've got Kurt's number. I found it weird how this little girl is like, I've got my grandpa's number wrote down, I must give it to a lot of people. And yeah, we complete this little side quest, let's pick up the white apricot. Yeah, it's kind of annoying that like, it takes exactly a day to produce it. I wish you could give him like all like more pull pokeballs and you could just like give him all in one go. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mainly get heavy balls just because they'll help against getting legendaries and stuff. But let's go and heal up. Now that we've healed up, we're gonna go and head towards the gym. So today I've actually got a really stupid assignment due tomorrow. I've got it done, but it's just like oh, I can't be bothered. So so we're actually gonna change our Pokemon round right now. No, no, we're actually gonna keep Sandstream first, Tyree, just because. Lacking in experience. Okay, I want to fight his trainer over here on the right first. So I know you have to go to the. I think it's the left one first to complete this. But I want to fight someone. I'm pretty sure there's the exact same. You know this puzzle in Mario. Um, what Mario is it? I think it's in uh, Mario Bros. DS. I think where you have to draw lines. No, I can't Mario. I know it's in a game where you have to draw lines to like try to com complete it. It might be WarioWare Touch. But I can see we're fighting Caterpies. I wonder if we can actually, you know, we won't be able to do any damage to it. So this gym obviously specializes in bug types. And you know what bug types are? We too? Fire! So it's pretty much going to be easy experience for, um, Cater uh, for my starter Pokemon. If you don't have, like, a Pokemon like Sora, for example, or, like a fire type, this battle could be hard, like, because normally you, you would pick a Toad out, which is weak to bug, well, kind of. They've got, like, a, a grass type move. Or you'd have like a grass type like Chikorita, which is neutral damage pretty much. Kyrie grew to level 8, so we've got some more experience. And we're just gonna stay in and fight a Weedle. If there's any uh, like Metapods or any um, Kakunas to fight, obviously we're gonna send in our starter, our weakest Pokemon to get some free experience. Obviously. 
But yeah, I've got to also do some reading on uh, strategic management because I've got like an exam coming up on the 15th of January, which is a long way away. I know it's like three months away, but you need to realize I need to read an entire textbook and remember it all on um, on this one set thing, which is kind of annoying. Which I really hate, like reading all these books for uni. But you meant to you meant to put in. Uh, I think it's educational wise. It's I think it's 30 hours in lesson, then 170 hours outside of work. So if we're that out, that's going to be well. That's the entire year. But like I finished a lot of my my like half my uni courses in in in, um, in January, so I've got like, 12 weeks. 12 weeks divided by 120 is 15 hours a week, something like that, which is crazy. Ooh, we are level seven. Let's let's stay in. No, my luck, we're gonna get poisoned straight away because that always seems to happen to me, always. And I didn't get poisoned, yay. But like, 15 hours a week on one subject, and then you've got like multiple subjects. Like I have four units each this term. Next term I've got two, which is so so unfortunate because the less you've got, the, the, the easier it's gonna be for you, really. And I kind of love the fact that, like, oh my god, we're faster than that. I don't know how that happened. Um, it might just be like we've got, ma we've, got ma we've got matching speeds, I'm guessing. Ooh, Kakuna, free experience. I'm guessing he's gonna have a Beedle as well. It's gonna be level 10, this, I'm guessing. Ooh, 9. Pop, 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 gonna have a level 11 Beedle as well. But free experience. He was hardened. But yeah, it's, it's like. All this reading, man, it gets on top of you sometimes. Like, I, I'm trying to, like, ma like, do at least an hour a day, but then you, you think. I haven't got time to do an hour a day, so sometimes because I'm at the gym, I'm recording videos, I've got work to do in other lessons, so it's like, oh god. But I have a Christmas break coming up in like two and a half months. Well, it's, it's two months today, I think I break up. And I've got like no assignments in, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. But what can you really do? Uh, you, you, uni isn't stressful, it's just like the workload, if you're not prepared, will get on top of you and you will like fail pretty much it, it, there's no if or buts about it you will fail if you don't put the work in which kind of sucks so a lot of people i know just don't that doesn't care about their education just like i'm here to party uh, i'm not naming names because you guys well, well I, I would want to like single people out because i don't like to have an opinion on people's life and how they live it but some people i don't agree with like how they live also this coon is gonna die um but what's the point in spending like i i'm every year i get 13 grand in decks because like my tuition fees is at 8 grand then I get like roughly 4 to 5 grand from the, from the student uh, accommodation thing just so I can pay for my flat and survive whilst I'm at university Ooh, wait, oh we also learnt poison sting which is uh, interesting I guess oh, of course we're going to stay in and then we're going to switch out I love beetle spray I actually love the mega evolution of beetle as well I think the mega evolution of beetle just looks so cool beetle does need some love and I'm kind of glad it got like a mega evolution Okay, using Fury Attack, I'm fine with it. But like a lot of people just doesn't care about the money. They're just like, let's go out partying every day. Like I know a lot of people. Uh, I, I go out quite frequently. I go out like once a week, something like that. But I don't drink. Just because I like to save money. I, don't, I, I like to go out and spend time with my friends and stuff. But um, I rarely get, I rarely drink and rarely get hammered or whatever. Which is, which is good. But like, there's other people I see out. Like I've got a friend who I see out every time I go out. Every time I'm out, which is like spontaneous. So I'm like, oh, let's go out today. Yeah, why not? He's always out and he's always partying. So we need to. Let's, okay, this is gonna take us to hit the blue switch. No, take to, to the right and then there's a blue switch to switch that one. Oh, we're actually getting close to, to the boss though. Ooh, a double battle. It's our first double battle of the game, I'm pretty sure. Amy and Mimi, let's go. I'm not gonna lie, I had a friend who was called Amy, but her nickname was Mimi. That's that's, that's a bit weird. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Fine, Lady Bat. And Spinarak. I'm not gonna lie, this Pokemon, this trainer actually had these same Pokemon in the first game, except it wasn't a double battle because double battles only just got introduced. So what I like to do with this, I like to single one one Pokemon out. So I'm gonna focus on Lady Bar. and then, yeah, I like to single out one Pokemon that way. Like, it's always it's easier, you know, it's, it's less stressful. I'm finally attacking Kyrie because Kyrie's got high defense. Oh, so close. C Constrict. It's not broken as it is in the first generation. If you guys have ever played Pokemon Red. Whenever any Pokemon uses rap, you're done for. That glitch is horrendous. Um, you don't know what it does. It, it makes it so you can't move. Ooh, a crit. Come on, you can handle it. Kyrie, yeah. That's how we do it. And now Kyrie's gonna take out Lediba, and that's that done. Level 10, nice one. I can't remember what level uh, Kyrie actually evolves. I think it's not too late. I think it's like 24, which isn't too bad. But because of this game, um, 
This game, I feel, it is like since it's like a whole post-game thing, it's not that hard like other games are. And we got 320 experience. Let's hit the switch. Let's go back. This should have disabled the blue. Yeah, it did. And now we can go across here and hit the red switch to, to disable the red switch. And this should take us straight to the boss. But I want to actually fight that guy on the right. How do, how do I fight the guy on the right? Hmm. Oh, I got it. I got it. I want to fight the guy on the right because like, it's for experience, really. You do not have to fight this guy, but I'm curious to see what Pokemon he's got. And I like free experience, so why not? It also makes the episode a bit longer, so. Da 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 da. You see all, all, all the stuff for a few hours, might see it, but, but, but my Pokemon are all going up and too, tough too. I kind of really like um, this game though, like this is my favourite Pokemon game, I don't know if people know that. Uh, ooh, level 13 Paris, that's pretty early on to find a Paris. But of course, Kyrie's not going to fight him, we're going to send in Sora. We're Sora in. Yeah. But like, I really like the second generation, that's why I'm, I'm really pumped to play this game, like, I seem to play the fifth generation on my channel and the sixth gen. And probably some kind of Pokemon spin-offs, but like, I rarely play Pokemon games anymore just because I feel like they're not as good as they used to be. Like, I did like X and Y, and I did like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but I just feel like I've outgrown Pokemon. It's, it's awful to say, like, it's not it's not meeting the demands as, like, the consumer anymore. Like, well, I am. This, this game is targeted towards younger children, such as, um, I think it's, what's the most tight range? I think it's 3 to three to 11. But I know a lot of people, uh, no, I think it's 3 to 13 is where this game's targeted towards. But yeah, I feel like that is. It's not happening anymore. But let's fight this guy, Bugsy. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug-type Pokemon. My, my research is, go, is going to make me the authority of bug Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Okay, fight me. So it looks like Bugsy is also studying something like me. Yep. Education is key in life. Ooh, a Scyther. Level 17, so we've got Kairi, we want to switch straight out into... We're actually going to go into Slave. You may think, why am I doing this? I don't want Sorrow to take a lot of damage. So I'm going to go straight to Slave. And the Slave take a quick hit. U-turn. It should kill Slave. Awful to say, but yep. I did that on purpose, just because I wanted um, Slave to actually get hit. Pretty much. So one thing I find weird, I'm pretty sure the Cocoon and Metapod Bugsy actually has, has Tackle. So please be aware that that you need, like they can they can hit you, so that's why I'm, I'm actually playing playing it safe. I'm going straight to Sora, getting the, um, a super effective attack off. Should kill him the Metapod. Let's move on. 231. Is it going to send Scyther back? He's probably going to go for another U-turn since since U-turn is a high priority move. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not actually. I was wrong. But quick attack is a high priority move. It's going to hit Sora pretty hard. Wow. I'm pretty sure Scyther has got high attack. Oh, and we got burn. Yep. Scyther, you're going down now. So this Scyther's actually pretty challenging, even for, um, so we've got an Auron Berry. Citrus Berry, 3 HP. Um, Scyther's actually got a lot of HP, just because it's, it yeah, has, I don't know, um, it's got high attack because, like, it's a, it's a strong attacker. It's the same as Evolve Form, Scizor, which we're probably going to get to meet much later in the game. That is also really powerful. Don't get crit, don't get crit, thank god. So, like I mentioned, Burn cuts the attack in half, so now, We've won pretty much. If that, if we didn't get that off, we would have a bit more challenges, challenge, uh, a bigger challenge. But if you remember last episode, we actually bought a, um, those are super potions just for this fight. So, so it's in the Kakuna, which is his or her. It's probably a boy or a girl. I think it's a, a boy. It's a, it's, a, it's a unisex name, isn't it? But this should be his last Pokemon or her last Pokemon, and uh, we get, we get super effective, and it should just end it. And that's how we do it, definitely trainer style. One less thing to worry about. And, and yeah, 19, and uh, yay! And we got our second badge, which which means that we can actually uh, first off catch po well trade Pokemon up to level 30. We've got the high badge as well as I'm pretty sure we're gonna get the TM for U-turn, and uh, that's it really. Really, yeah, we can use cut outside of battle as well. But we haven't obtained cut yet. If you wonder what cut is, it's um, it's a HM move where it's like like Rock Smash, so that's pretty cool. But let, let's just head back. And let's go to heal up and let's head on to the next area. Yay! But like I mentioned, I feel like Pokemon isn't meeting the needs of the consumer anymore. If you know what I mean? Like, I feel as if it's it's not Pokemon anymore. And it's, it's all for me to say that. I just I just feel that way. We gotta say it, bro. Well, that was a great question. Yep. Yes, the future is bright for me. 
I really do like Pokemon though, like I wouldn't say, ooh, we had a phone call from Wade. Dan, howdy, it's Wade, how are you? I found all kind of berries, if you want to share some with you. I'll be waiting on Route 31. No, it's not worth our efforts, to be honest. But let's go and heal up. So guys, now that we've healed up, let's head on to the next route. Oh, what, what the, what's happening here? Oh my god, it's the redhead guy. It's Trevor, oh my god, Trevor the ghost. You beat me, haha. Are you serious? Let's see how good you are. So, we're fighting Trevor. Yep. God damn you, Trevor. I actually think my room's haunted. I don't know if I mentioned this, but like, I've got, I think my room's haunted by a... Um, my flat's haunted by a, um, a ghost called Trevor. Because every so often I just hear weird noises and stuff randomly falls on me on the night and I hear like random stuff, stuff moving. It's weird. But of course, we're sitting out with the gas, so we're going to switch out straight into good old Sora. I'm just doing this to be safe, really. He's going to use Curse and split his HP in half. I'm fine with that. Curse does some serious damage. I'm pretty sure in in uh, 10 turns we will die. More like 4 turns, actually. I'm going to lead up with an Ember, just gate kills, then we're going to switch straight out. Yeah, why not? It, it's, it's the best way to be. Kyrie, good level 11. I'm going to keep saying Kiri, Kyrie. Well, I keep thinking Kiri. Curse is going to do another toll on us. But she should be bringing out, or he should be bringing out Croconaw, her star Pokemon. Let's switch out into Doland. I went nothing really to counter this, so we may have to do some stalling. But get in there, Doland. Is there sending Croconaw? Cro -cro -cro Croconaw is level 18. Now let's lead off with a Fury Swipes. Come on, get a crit, come on. So I'm not doing too much damage. From what I remember, this is one of the highest battles in this game. Due to the fact that, like, you won't like no Pokemon was actually strong against it. Scary Face is going to lower my defense, I'm pretty sure. Or is it my speed? Speed, okay, my speed. Let's lead off with a Quick Attack. Let's see what it's going to do. Ooh, that wasn't too bad. What a crit. Scare face again. As long as it keeps using scare face, I'm just going to keep using high priority moves. Just to be safe. Okay. Quick, quick, quick attack, go. Like, we're not doing too much damage, but yeah, water gun's probably going to hit us pretty hard here. Actually, I don't think it will. Yeah, I thought it would have done a lot more. It has got stab, so yeah. But as you can see, we have got the shell bell activated, which means we're going to get one HP back. Not too much, but the more you scare face, the more I don't really care because I'm just gonna keep using quick attack. I'm just gonna slowly whittle, whittle away your HP. This is why we got quick attack, just cause it's like a high priority move. One hit and then you're dead. Yep, and I'm pretty sure you won't be able to kill Doland in this one move unless you get like a critical hit, which is possible. Did he get crit? No, he didn't, so GG, Croconaw. And that's how we do it, definitely trainer style. Goodbye, Croconaw. And of course, we get some good old HP back. With a shell belt, and Dolan gained 550 experience. That's a lot of experience this earlier in the game. So we go to level 16. Oh, we're probably at halfway to level 17. Yeah, we got quite a lot. I'm gonna send in a Zubat. We're gonna switch it out and go into Sora just to like end this battle with Sora. So there we go. It's a, a simple battle. That's how we do it. Trevor sends out Zubat. You say you got a lot of nerve coming here. Well, you 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 have you have assaulted me here. I didn't assault you once, Trevor. So don't start with me, bro. It was burnt. Zubat sent out Supersonic. Yeah, Zubat used Supersonic either. No, no. So that means, now that we're going to attack, we're going to actually hurt ourselves. Because this always seems to happen whenever you do this. That's ridiculous. There's no way I, I can lose a win like you. Hey. I, I, I lift weights. I go to the gym. I could probably outlift you, bro. Bite. I, I got a feeling he might actually kill us. If, if we keep hitting ourselves with confusion, which is highly likely, because I always seem to do it. Ooh. We didn't, we actually broke through the confusion. Hell yeah. And with that, we actually beat good old Trevor. GG, Trevor. Well, I really don't like Trevor anyway. He's a bit of an a-hole. Hmm, useless Pokemon. Listen, you. You only won this because... I don't know, I don't know why. Because of your Pokemon. And we got 11, uh, 1,000 Poké Dollars. I hate the weak. Po Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter who or what you are. I hate... I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. The thing they're big and tough, as long as they are in a group. But... Get, get them alone, they're a weak. They're, they're all weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way, you won't be an exception. Exception if you aren't getting my way. And there he goes. He hasn't even really healed up, so he's always literally going into a forest with no HP. Wow. But we're going to heal up before we head on because I don't want to really encounter death. But, like, I don't know why he did that. Like, he hasn't even healed up, he's just like running into it. But we beat Trevor. I'm sure we'll see him again sometime because. You know what Trevor's like. He, he just randomly appears when he can be bothered. Yay. I just want to check on my egg as well really quickly. Let's, let's go and check on the egg. Is it, is it any sooner to hatch? Summary. 
a, a sound can be heard. It seems like it's going to hatch soon. That means in the next few episodes, it probably will hatch because we are to go into a big dungeon again. Since we have been the second, uh, second uh, gym now, we're going to go and head to Golden Monster State next time, as you can see. We're going to go to Elect Forest as, as well. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. Next time on Pokemon Heart Gold, we're actually going to go through the Elect Forest and make it to Golden World City. I'll see you guys then. Peace.